Welcome to Let's Deal. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Also, we have courses on science on our website that is www.letsdeal.com. So, do check them out. Learning about stars and galaxies is fascinating. But if we compare them, we are just a small speck in this massive universe. So let us try to look more carefully. This is our solar system. If we look more carefully, we can find a planet Earth. And then there's our country. And at last, you can see me. Wait, you can't see me. So if we compare this massive universe to a tiny earth and then we compare this earth to myself, can we have more smaller objects than me? Of course we can. If you look around us, there are many smaller objects than me like bottle, book, pen, chalk. If I take this chalk and I try to divide this chalk, it is smaller particles. Two hours later. I tried my level best, but I wasn't able to divide these chalk powders furthermore. But why did this happen? Why wasn't I able to divide these particles further? A Indian sage named Maharishi Kandar said, if we take a padarth and we go on dividing that padarth, there will be a point where we further can't divide that padarth into smaller particles and he named that particle as Paramanu where Param means ultimate and Anu means particles so that means that was the ultimate particle which could not be divided so now we know why we were not able to divide these chalk particles further but what should we name these particles as? Don't worry, you don't have to name these particles. We had a Greek philosopher named Democritus. In 600 BC, he named these particles as atoms. Remember, atoms is a Greek word derived from atomus, where A means not and Thomas means cut, which means atomus is indivisible. So now we know why we were not able to divide these chalk particles further because we had reached the smallest particle named atom and atoms are indivisible. Atoms are found everywhere. It's found in solid, it's found in liquid, it's found in gaseous, it's found in this chalk and even in me. Yes, atoms are present in living as well as non-living. Atom is each and every way. You just look at it and there's atom. But how does atom look like? So this is how an atom looks like. But how small is this atom? Is it this small? Is it this small? Or is it this small? Just to give you a hint, what is the size of this atom? Suppose you were the size of this earth then the ants on this ground were the size of atom. If we take this 15 cm scale and I want one single atom, I have to divide the scale for 150 million parts. Bizarre, right? More bizarre is the size of atom. One atom is equal to 0.1 nanometer. Of course, atoms are measured in nanometers. One meter is equal to 10 raised to 9 nanometer. A fun fact, if you want to know what is the average number of atoms in the human body, suppose if the human body is 70 kg, there will be 7 into 10 raised to 27 atoms in that body. For kids who don't know what is 7 into 10 raised to 27, that is 7 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 20 minutes later 0 0 0 atoms. Too much, right? So let's recollect what we have learned. Atoms are the smallest particle which cannot be divided further. Atoms are the building block of matter. 
atoms are found everywhere. One atom is the size of 0.1 nanometer. Atoms are measured in nanometers. Just a small quiz for you. Try to think about how many atoms are there in a planet Earth. Just a small note. The atomic theory has changed over time as new technologies have come available. That's it for this video. If you want more such videos then do subscribe to Let's Do and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you.